Hello, my name is Topman Paul DK and this is Code Tribe Extra. Let's talk about Bash scripts. Bash stands for Born Again Shell. It's a type of shell. There are different types of shell anyway, but the one I've ever used in my life is Bash. So a, a Bash script is simply a, a file containing commands that Bash can execute. You know, that's, that's just what Bash script is right and many of us have written bash script without knowing it now the command for creating an empty file is touch right so let me create an empty file named top man so i'll just do touch top man all right that's top man there yeah, i'm going to delete it i want to create a bash script that will do that thing that i just did now so when i run the script it will just create an empty file called top man this first line is called shebang, shebang command. That's the line that informs bash that, hey bash, this command, I'm talking to you. Come on, do this thing. All right. Uh, so the next thing I want to do is to make it executable with this command. All right, so now it's green colored. Let's execute it. Look at the fight up man has been created by my script. All right, that's, that's it for you. So wh wh why do I need a bash script to create stop? Uh, the, uh, uh, an empty file named top man when i can do touch top man you know why all right let's let, you will begin to appreciate um you you appreciate bash scripts uh when you uh, realize that it could take multiple commands and execute them once without you having to type those commands manually you could take multiple commands so let me add some more commands i would say um okay you no know, this file was created just for a demo and then i'll put this inside the file that has been created the empty file next line don't worry i will explain i will explain this make it easy as much as i could so the next thing to do is to print something uh, to the standard output i mean print something on the terminal um, this file has been created see the contents below and the next thing i want to do is cut you know what cut does right it shows the content of the file okay um let me save this the, the script is already already executable so i don't need to make it executable again but let me let's do this manually okay let's do manually what is inside the script so let's uh, create an empty file named top man first and then let's put something inside the file top man and uh, you you've a lot of us have done this without knowing that we are we <laughs> what we are what we are doing so if you type anything in between single quotes or double quotes you know beginning and ending and then um put a greater than sign like this and then put the name of a file it will put that in inside the file look at it let's see it look at what i typed is inside the file right now okay but if that greater than sign is not there if you don't do that thing and just write anything and give it to echo echo will print that thing out on the terminal look at it that's what it does so you know what cat does already cat shows the content of the file so uh, uh no i wanted to display it with line number no wrong file uh when you pass i think n to cat it will display that file with line numbers i just want to display with line number say so look at it line one line two line three line four line five and watch they are going to do these things that i just did manually right so watch our script do this this is me automating five uh, four instructions you know making it happen automatically without me doing them manually okay I i'm going to clear this screen um let me remove the fight up man first and then let's see what our our script will do so let's run the script now all right it has happened it has happened uh, let me show the content while I, I, I explain it now for line two line one is the shebang command right line two when you create a file nothing will happen nothing will show until you do ls right when you um, also put a content into a file nothing will show until you check it so the first line that's supposed to show is line four and that's what showed there this file has been created and the next line is line five remember line five right when you cut uh when you cut the content of your file like cut up man you know 
look at what this play that's the last thing so the, the script actually worked let me uh, let me move the fire top man and run the script again but i'm going to add something into the script now i will add ls after creating the file so that it will list and show us that it has created a file before it will do other things um okay here it is <coughs> okay so i'm gonna add ls after touch top man so that um, it will list it and show us that ah uh, yes it has created a file loop before it will do other things okay uh we're going to save this and then run it it's it, you you it's it's simple you can be simple it's simple okay save and quit that's it there there's no top man there you can see it let me clear the screen there's no file called top man there so let's create it now with our script here we go so look at that it created an empty file top man and showed us that it had created it with ls and then it went ahead to execute other command so that's it from me on bash script for now do like share and subscribe to this youtube channel for more encourage me to do more and please i would like you to follow me on github twitter connect with me on linkedin send me your friend request on facebook i will accept and thank you so much for watching thank you